Okay, so it's um, how many days? It's the eighth day. Yeah. Uh, so tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I'm at my Mimi's house right now. My cousin is Minecrafting. Um, but uh, I guess I'm gonna do the Colossus review. So before we get started, I'm going to say that uh, what? Okay, before we get started, I'm going to say that if you didn't watch the previous videos, then you got if you didn't see it, then you know that uh, the Iron Warrior Pioneer isn't coming until like January or something. So I'm probably not going to get it in time by tomorrow. Uh, so I'm getting it something else. So I'll have to be reviewed some other time. The, the quality of this phone is worse than my sister. Anyway, uh, so let's get started because uh, at first I'm going to go over the paint, then the articulation. Usually I do the articulation first. But um, the paint on this guy is is really, really good. It, it, re it reminds me, it brings me back to when Toy Biz was still doing the Marvel Legends, you know? Whenever they did shading, like, you can see the shading even with this horrible quality. And the legs, the crotch, the legs, the head even, the chest. This is all not customized. This is what it came like, and it looks fantastic. The sculpting in the arms and the legs look amazing. The head looks fantastic. The eyes are painted amazing. The head is painted amazing. Like I said, I think I've done a review on this guy before. I don't remember. Um, but uh, kind of reminds me of my very first video, which was a different Colossus. So articulation-wise, it is, first of all, much better than the Toy Biz Colossus. Uh, he can look up very well. He can look down not at all. Uh, he has a he has really good head tilt. I really like that. Sorry about having to like be so close because I'm in like a really awkward position. Uh, his arms for such a big dude, I'm not surprised that his arms only move up about then. But again, the Marvel Select Hulkbuster is amazing. Its arms move up to like right here. Uh, obviously, bicep swivel, single joint elbows to go right under 90 degrees. Uh, his hands swivel and go up and down. He has, like, a diaphragm joint, but it's actually really good. Like, it tilts. It crunches. Not at all, but crunches back really well. And it obviously swivels. No waist swivel. Come on, Marvel Select. You never put in the good articulation. You, like, put in great articulation, but then just forget about the best piece of articulation. It's weird. Obviously... Oh, no! The phone fell over. I was trying to do the beautiful spread. But he doesn't. That's about as far as he'll spread. Mm -hmm. uh, he can kick forward about that far. Back, none. Uh, he has thigh swivel. Uh, really, really good double jointed knees. Boot cut, ankle pivot. His ankles go down, and they go up. So, this is a great figure. The painting, the sculpting, everything is really, really good for, about this figure. Uh, my only problems are that it doesn't have a waist swivel, and that its elbows don't go over. <laughs> my sister is recording me. 90 degrees. Otherwise, this guy looks fantastic. The sculpting on him. Like, Marvel Select re really <laughs> outdid themselves. This is by far the best Colossus figure. It's tall. It's muscular. It's much better than Marvel Select or Marvel Legends. Um, this is just a great figure. I definitely recommend picking it up. Its uh, average price is around 30 25 bucks, maybe 40 or, or 50 depending where you buy it. Um, I also... The design for this is classic, but it does kind of have like a turtleneck style. Not my personal favorite, but I mean, I can live with it. It's fine. I do like how, in, like Marvel, unlike Marvel Legends, this red is sculpted, or the yellow is sculpted onto the red. 
I think that's a great idea. You can tell there's a little bit of paint splotching on the red from the yellow because it was just molded red painted yellow. I really like that because they got the good shading since they painted it and I think it looks fantastic. It doesn't look as spotty as the one on the red since it's just molded like that. This is a great figure. The X on it looks amazing and it goes all the way around. No cuts like uh, Marvel Legends has where it just kind of like has a slit right there because they're separate pieces. This is one piece and I don't mind it. I think it looks great. That's his butt. He even has shading on his glutes. No, his glutes are the thighs, right? I don't remember. Are his glutes his butt? No. His butt is shaded. His back is beautifully shaded. I did buy this figure. So, funny thing is, I went to the toy drop. First figure I ever bought there, uh, I think the only figure I ever bought there, was a Colossus. I went there next, uh, and the last time I went and bought something, I went yesterday, but the last time I went, I actually bought another Colossus figure, which is funny, but I bought a better one, so not sad. I was originally thinking of getting the Colossus and Juggernaut two pack, but um, the Colossus is kind of short for my to my from my opinion, and the Juggernaut I would just throw out because I don't like them. I like the Marvel Select personally, um, but otherwise this is an amazing figure. Definitely, like I said, recommend picking it up. It's one of my favorites, if not my maybe my third favorite action figure. I love this figure, the sculpting in it, the painting. It was it's just like a perfect figure. I do wish it came with open hands, a smiling head. I think Colossus should be happy sometimes, like Yeah, definitely. Uh I wish he came with like I said, open hands, maybe relaxed hands and like grippy. I don't know. Um but like I think like I said cut off this piece and i think it'd look perfect but otherwise this is a great figure i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's exactly seven minutes long almost kind of um yeah that that's about it uh i will see you tomorrow to see i'll review everything i got from christmas eve so tomorrow i'll review a few things all right so yeah about, I'm guessing about four things tomorrow. I'm going to review. Maybe three. Oh. Uh. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow.